Our next witness is the District Attorney of Nassau County, Kathleen Rice. And joining her is a uh, person listed as witness number 17 on the list, Ellen Moore. Uh, yes? Uh, Gentlemen, thank you so much for having us. I, I'm actually here just to introduce uh, my aunt here. Okay. Before you begin, yes. will you uh, both swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is true? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and if you could each state your names. My name is Kathleen Rice, R-I-C-E. My name is Ellen Kelly Moore. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for having us. I think this is an incredibly important issue. I'm here just to introduce my aunt who uh, lives in Charlottesville, Virginia, and we went to pick her up to bring her here so that she could offer her testimony today before you. So uh, my aunt, Ellen Kelly Moore. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, gentlemen. My name is Ellen Kelly Moore, and I was born into a wonderful family in 1926, a family that cared for me, loved me, and created a life for me that can only be described as a fulfillment of the American dream, a dream that led me to serve the Catholic Church as a nun in countries across the world. I was one of the lucky ones, as Catholic Charities put it. At the same time, moments earlier on that March day in 1926, I was born to a mother and father who I've never had the opportunity to know. What I know now, after nearly four years of investigating, is that my birth parents were Irish immigrants. I was born in New York City. My birth mother was 27 and my father 30. My biological father died while my mother was five months pregnant with me. My birth mother at some point returned to Ireland to care for her family back home. My biological parents had four other children. I have at least four siblings whom I've never met who may be living today. It took me 80 years to summon the strength to start searching for my parents. It took me another four to learn even the slightest thing about where I came from. The steps I took to discover this information were lengthy, onerous, and required far beyond what most who are adopted have to commit to this process. Filling in the gaps between what limited information I've learned has been even harder, yet it's also much more important. I don't know my parents' names. I don't know where they were born. I don't know anything of their medical histories, histories that may very well bear on my own health. The secretiveness of this process is not an aid to families. It is not an aid to the children given to wonderful adoptive parents. The secretiveness of this process is quite clearly a hindrance to understanding family and to understanding much about your own health, life, and place on this earth. As in my case, Oftentimes, the searches for these answers don't come until later in life. By older children like myself, who didn't until their later years feel as though a search for their biological parents was anything other than a slight to their wonderful adoptive parents. There are many men and women in my circumstances who are searching for parents in the later years of their lives, searching for parents that are almost certainly not living. We must right this wrong and allow for adult children to know a vital portion of their past lives 
so that they can live full lives in the years that follow. Adoption is a wonderful process, yet many children born to parents they will never know go through life with small holes in their hearts. Oftentimes, time only expands this void. This legislation can help fill it, not only for me, but for the children born this afternoon at hospitals across New York. One day, they should have access to their pasts so that they can be stronger and more complete in their futures. Please change this law and allow for adoptive sons and daughters to understand where they came from so that they will always have a better idea of what was before them and what is in front of them. And lastly, I, I just say, well, like, who am I? I can't do anything. I have no surname. And I think we, we're all entitled to that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can, can you tell me, uh, and you, you may have covered this in your, in your testimony, and I'm sorry if I, if I missed it. How did you come to know that you were adopted, and how did you learn what, as much as you have learned? I have the most wonderful story. Uh, when I was probably four years old, I, my father was a judge in New York, New York Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, he was with Milbank, which, you know. Uh, he, my mother, my adoptive mother, uh, we used to listen, I used to listen to Orphan Annie on the radio. And my mother would come through every day with milk and cookies and say, Daddy Warbucks walked all over the world uh, looking for Annie, uh, and he and Sandy just were so tired at the end of the, you know, their travels, and just as your father and I walked all over the world looking for you, and we were so tired, and we walked, and we walked, and we walked. Well, they'd never been outside Forest Hills. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, the, when I went to the, the emphasis was that I was chosen. So when I went to the first grade, and I went to a Catholic school, you know, you had about 80 children in the first grade. And so I had a little friend by the name of Mary O'Leary. And I used to think, if I had a little argument or something with Mary O'Leary, I used to think, poor Mrs. O'Leary, uh, her mother had to take her, but I was chosen. <laughs> and the same thing, little boy Paul Kohlmeyer. You know, poor Mrs. Coldmeyer, she had to take Paul, but I was chosen. <laughs> so, thank you. So, um, no, tell about the going to Catholic Charities and getting the information that oh, you Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I went to Catholic Charities, and there's a certain amount of information that you could get, you know, that is open, but the basic information, I could just never get my name. Mm -hmm. or they, so that leaves me with the most important thing, unanswered, who am I? Okay, thank you. Thank other, you very much. Other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs>